Hi, I'm Nick from World IT, and today I'm going to take you through Microsoft Planner, which is an application within uh, Office 365. Planner is an organization and project management tool which allows you to organize yourself and people within your organization more efficiently and work better. Um, let me first of all put it in context. Within Microsoft Office 365, there is currently Tasks, which works in with Outlook, which is basically a task management tool, a to-do list. And at the other end of the scale, we've got Microsoft Project, which is for organizing and managing more sophisticated projects. Sitting in between those two extremes is Microsoft Planner, which gives you a way that you can you know, more easily pull together people and organize people and track progress on a project without going to the extent of managing a proper formalized project, which is um, the forte of Microsoft Project. So when you arrive here at Microsoft Planner, this is what you see. It's at the Planner Hub. And at the moment, I've got no projects in there. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll just kick off by creating one. Now, as a demo, let's go ahead and do a very simple, straightforward project. Let's just call it Bake a Cake. There we go. It can be public or private. This one, we're going to be private. So we can just invite the people to it that I want to invite. Public would allow everyone within your organization to automatically take part. So there we go. So it's done that. It's created a, a board for us, which is how we lay out our tasks. And uh, it's given us a bucket, which is a way of organizing tasks called to do as a default. Effectively, you lay out your tasks down here, down the page, and your buckets across the page. So you could, if you wanted to, end up with multiple different buckets or sort of ways of logically organizing tasks and then multiple tasks down the, um, down the vertical. So let's um, set up my our project. So I think the first thing we're going to do, let's see in our project, let's have a, a definition phase as the first step. Then once we've defined what our cake's going to be, let's move on to a build phase. And then finally, once we've done that, we'll have a consume phase where we actually eat our cake. There we go. So those are our three phases of our project. And then let's add some tasks to those. So the first thing I'm going to have to do in my project, so I'm going to have to uh, buy some ingredients. And once I've bought some ingredients, then I'm going to uh, find a recipe. Actually, I've got that wrong. That's the other way around. Find a recipe. But there we go. So um, I can see straight away that find a recipe and buy ingredients are the wrong way around. So let me just move those so they're in a, in a running order that will actually do it. Then we'll move on to our build phase. We're going to uh, bake uh, the cake in the oven. And then after we bake the cake in the oven, we're going to uh, ice the cake. There we go. And then finally, at the end of it, we'll go ahead and eat the cake. And once we've finished eating the cake, we'll uh, clean the kitchen. Okay, so there we go. So that's our, our straightforward project. So let's have a little look over here. So let's click from boards over to charts, and we'll get a few stats. So this shows us where we actually are with our project. So we've got six tasks. And of those six tasks, it shows that we haven't actually given those to anyone to be able to do any work. And it shows the six cards that the stars, tasks are unstarted. So there's no other progress on that. So there we go, some quick stats. So probably this tells us we should go back and give this work to some people so they can actually go ahead and do it. So let's take that and divvy up amongst our, our workforce. So I'll click on buy ingredients and I'll choose myself to do that task and then find a recipe. Well, again, we'll choose myself. When it comes to baking the cake in the oven, let's give this one to me again. Looks like I'm getting the most of the work. But when it comes to icing cakes, actually, my colleague Mike Nelson is far better at doing that than I am. So there we go. So let's just quickly order these again in a, in a proper order. Like so. So eating the cake. So um, I think both of us should be involved in eating the cake. So let's give that to both Mike and I together. And um, whilst we're here, let's have a little look. We want to make sure that this cake gets consumed on my birthday over here. So there we go. And then we'll clean the cake, we'll do the cleanup. We'll let Mike do the cleaning up of that. Yeah. 
So there we go. So there we go, that's our project, and we've got all the people that are going to do that project as well. So clicking over to onto charts now, we show that there's no unassigned tasks, which is good. Nick Simon's got some of those tasks. Mike has got some of those tasks to do as well. We can have a little look over this. We can group by the bucket. We can group by assign to. We can have a look at the progress of those. And this way we can actually start managing what's going on and seeing things that have been done and haven't been done. Equally over at board, we can group those by bucket. We can also group them by progress, which shows what tasks have got started, which ones are in progress and which ones are completed. And at the moment, nothing's been started that we haven't got going. Good. All right. Well, that's our project um, laid out and ready to go. So that's our planning bit over. Now, when it, when it comes to actually doing the project, this piece of work is done from my task. And this is where you actually tell Planner what you've done and what you've, been, what you've uh, completed. So if I look at my first, my first task on my list was to actually find a recipe. So once I start working on that, all I need to do to tell Plan that I'm working on it now is move that over like so to in progress. And once I've actually found my recipe and that piece is completed, then I can move that over to there. The very next thing I would do once I've done that is I would buy, go buy some ingredients. So if I can move that on to by ingredients, so I'm working on that. Now if we go back to Planner and we open up our project again, if we have a look over at Charts, it's started to change things a little bit. So even though four tasks aren't started, there's one in progress and there's one completed. And then if I click over here to Group by Progress, we can see what's gone on on this side. So Nick Time Simon is currently in the process of buying the ingredients. Yeah, go back to Board. We'll open this by, by ingredients task because at this point now I know what the ingredients are. So let me just go through. So what might I have for my ingredients so I can add that to our task as well. Let's have a few uh, eggs, for example, and then we'll have some milk and then we'll have some flour and then we'll have some sugar. OK, and we'll show those on the card. Excellent. So I click over to my tasks. My in progress one, as I actually acquire these different things, then I can actually check that, click those off as done. So a in progress task can have several subtasks within it or things that need to be done that you can click off as you go. And when I get my last ingredients, I'm all done. So I can move that on to complete it. So there we go. So this is the way your project would normally work, like so. You would work on tasks and when tasks get completed, then we move them over to there. Great. So let's go back to our project again. Let's have a look at charts and let's look at our statistics. So we can see now that we've got four completed tasks. Nick Simon has done all his tasks. Mike Nelson has got all of his still outstanding, but that's fine. So we can immediately see who's been doing their work, who hasn't, and uh, get a, a, um, a progress upgrade from people if we need to. Yeah, so let's have a look at progress. There's another way of looking at that. There we go. All the classes have been completed. Any that are in progress and there aren't any at the moment. And then over here we can see that Mike's yet to start his tasks. Fine. So there we go. That is it in a nutshell. I think you'll find it's a very, very useful tool. One thing to say also is that this also works alongside the collaborative tools inside Microsoft Office 365. So if we go back to the board now, you'll notice that here under conversation and notebook this allows you to um, use the other collaborative tools which are also now being shared across all the other applications including you know, Outlook and Teams and, and others to come. Um, just to give you a quick peek at that one if we look at conversation now it takes us out of the planner application into Outlook and into a thing called Outlook Groups. Yeah? Now, Outlook Groups is a fairly new feature which allows you to collaborate and communicate with other people who are in the project about things which are, um, you know, common to the project. So really, you've got a focused inbox or inbox or a focused place that you can discuss everything you need to discuss. So, for example, let's click on this one here. Uh, so I'll post to the Baker Cake group. Um, what cake should we bake? Yeah. Coffee or choc chocolate? What do you think? OK, 
can post that. So rather than me having to set up an email distribution group and send it out to everyone, this really sets up a, a group conversation for everyone who's been included in the plan. You'll notice that by just by adding Mike and myself to the plan, we automatically became part of this group. So now we've got a place that we can go ahead and share messages without getting our inboxes uh, you know, very full and confusing with other messages. It's also a place there for up up updating files um, and sharing files, as well as a, a group calendar and a group notebook. These are all the other functionality within Microsoft Groups. I won't go into that too much because we'll cover that in a later video, but that pretty well covers off Microsoft Planner. I hope you'll find it a very useful tool. And if there's any other questions you'd like to ask, if you'd like help setting up planning within your organization, please post below or give us a telephone call. Look forward to hearing your comments. Thank you very much.